We will be trying out the different features of the audio UI we installed previously. But first, I am going to reinstall it from scratch real quick and note any differences I notice with the installation. I'm going to delete the folder and re-download it from the GitHub page. On the GitHub page, there is a wiki section with details of some of the features. I'm going to download the zip from the installer page. Same as in the previous video, I will extract it in this folder. Run the Windows batch file and then the run batch file within the new folder. For some reason, I still get this access is denied error, but it seems to go away if I run the batch file again, so I'm going to run the batch file again. And this time it installed without any error, unlike in the previous video where it would throw a NumPy version error. In the current latest version, there is a launch flag we can add to the run batch file which will auto-launch the web UI without needing to modify the Python file. I'm going to create a new batch file called ui.batch and call the run batch file with this flag. Now I can double-click the new batch file. You can change the dark mode to light in your browser settings. In Microsoft Edge, click the three dots and settings. Click appearances and select light or dark. I will select light. In the text-to-speech tab, select one of the models from the drop-down. I'm going to select bark. The first time you load this, it will take some time to download the required files. Once it is finished loading, we can enter some text for the input. I'm going to scroll down and leave the default settings and select Announcer for the speaker. And then click Generate. Well, well, well. How the turntables... There are a bunch of options and settings you can experiment with, but I'm going to go on to the next tab. I will come back to this RVC tab later to try out a trained, cloned voice. The next tab lets you generate music. Enter an input prompt describing the music you want to generate. I'm going to increase the duration to 15 seconds and then click Generate. In the result, it says no model loaded. I forgot to load the model. Click the rocket icon to load the selected model. This will take a while on the first load. Once it finishes, click the Generate button. Warning, this is going to be loud. Oh dear. Let's see if we can add some negative prompts that it suggests in the placeholder text. Let's try this again. That sounds better with the negative prompts added. There are other options and settings to experiment with, but I will go on to the next tab. This one also lets you generate music. I will enter a suggested prompt and change the duration to 15 seconds. There is an option to enter input audio for melody. For this demonstration, I will skip this. Leaving everything default, I will click Generate. It did not do anything. Looks like I forgot to load the model again, so let's click the rocket icon. Once it finishes loading, click Generate. Sounds pretty good to me. Let's move on to the next tab. This one is to transcribe text in an audio file. I'm going to use this audio file. I used this app for a couple days and really liked the voice training and RVC for voice cloning functionality. 
In the future, I will probably make another video with details on using the different features. With that file selected, I will click on Transcribe. It looks like it did not work. The transcript output box is empty. Let's try with a different model. Still nothing. Trying another model. Still no luck. Maybe let's try the batch input. This time it gave a text file name for the output. Let's try searching for this text file in the root project folder. No items found. Well, maybe this functionality is not working. Let me know if anyone is able to get this to work. I'm going to move on to the next tab. This is where you can train a voice that you can use in RVC. I will come back to this tab. Let's look at Utils tab. There are sub tabs for this one. The first one is D noise. Let's test this with that really loud music we generated earlier. Loud noises incoming. I'm going to download this and use it in the denoiser. <music> Click the button and let's see what happens. Much quieter. Onto the next sub tab. It looks like here we can separate the vocals from the music in a song. I'm going to use this song. <laughs> Let's click the button and see what happens. This got stuck at 0% progress with max usage on the GPU. I had to quit out of it. When I quit out, it generated this file in the root directory. I think that we've all had enough. This sounds like the original file. Maybe I need a smaller file or the functionality is not working. Let me know if this works for anyone. On to the next sub tab. Let's throw an audio file into the input and click the button to see what happens in this one. I used this app for a couple days and really liked the voice training and It looks like this one is to show those green bars representing the waveform of the audio. I think let's go to the next sub tab. Looks like this will separate and remove the audio from a video file. I will drag a video file to the input. This is the GitHub page for this project. It requires Python 3.10. This is the GitHub page for this project. Click the Windows Selected. So I'm... This application has text-to-speech, RVC, audio LD. It gives us the audio from that video file. Next sub-sub-tab. Looks like we can merge an image and audio into a video. Let's try. I used this app for a couple... I used this app for a couple... I used this app for a couple days and really liked the voice training and RVC for voice cloning. I used this app for a couple days and really.
Cool, let's check the next sub-sub-tab. Looks like this will input a video and audio and make an output video with that input audio on that input video. You can try this one out. I will skip it in this demo. Next, we have an audio download from a YouTube URL. I will use a URL to one of the previous videos and give it a try. It created this file in the project's download folder. This is the GitHub page for the double, but I. This is the Git click the Windows batch file. Now you can do any issues with running the application. And that is the audio from that YouTube video. Great. Now we will look at the train tab. Click create. Enter a name. I will use default settings and click create workspace. I'm going to use a bunch of small audio clips from a previous video for this. Specify the path to the audio files. I'm going to copy paste it. Click resample and split dataset. Scroll down to confirm it is complete. There is also a how to tab with details on how to use this. In the data tab, select one of the pitch extraction methods. Try experimenting here to see which works best for your audio samples. I'm going to select this one. How do you even pronounce this? Uh, torch creep? Yes, that's it. Torch creep. Now click extract pitches. When that is done, click create index file. Now go to the train tab. I'm going to use the default settings and click train. This will take a while depending on that setting. Now, how is this word pronounced? Epoch? Yes, epoch. How many epochs you specified? Once that is done, click on the refresh button and select one of the new training checkpoints and then click copy to RVC models. Now go to the RVC tab. You can use the microphone or drop an input audio file here. You can also go to the text to speech tab and send a generated voice here. I will do that. Let's enter some text and click generate. Well, 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 how the turntables. Click send to RVC and then go to the RVC tab. Well, 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 how the turntables. Click refresh and select the training model. I'm going to select torch creep. You can try different options here to see what gives best results. Now click generate. Well, 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 how the turntables. And that is the basic workflow for using the training and RVC. You can experiment with longer, higher quality input audio samples for training, epochs, pitch extraction, and other options on both the training and this RVC tabs to see what gives you best results.